Hi, I'm Paul Barnhill, Chief Technology Officer and Hygiene Expert here at Meritech. Today we're going to talk about ATP. ATP is really using bioluminescence or detecting adenosine triphosphate to be able to look for the cell life. And what we're going to do today is really deploy this methodology on a pre and a post hand wash event. So Lisa, why don't you come on over? We're going to go ahead and do that. So one of the first things I do is I'm going to ask her what her dominant hand is. So what is your dominant hand? My right one. All right, go ahead and present that to me. Palm down, kind of go really flat. No, palm up, I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, what I want to do is make sure that that palm is sitting there. I'm going to take a swab here and I'm going to take the hygiene swab and I'm going to pull it out. And then I'm going to draw a two by two square directly in her palm, okay? Then I'm gonna color that square in two by two, then I'm gonna rotate it 90, and the whole time I'm really turning the swab to where I get it, then I draw an X. Now the reason I do just a two by two square within the palm is so that I have consistent methodology of where uh, we're swabbing. I'm not swabbing the entire hand because we don't want to lift it off as you tend to trace the hand it lifts off or I'm not covering it the same area but I'm using the same consistency of pressure drawing in that two by two square and making sure that I have that. Again, coloring it one way tube, color it the other way in that two by two and then I always put an X in the middle. So why don't you go ahead and wash your hands in the Cleantech 500 EZ. I'm gonna go ahead and activate this ATP swab. I'm gonna put it in here. I'm gonna shake it like a Polaroid a few times, okay? And then I'm gonna go ahead and put it in the Hygiena System Sure Plus. Now one of the things, the reason why we use the Hygiena System, not only is it that Meritech has a white paper on it, but also uh, Hygiena has put a white paper on it. So not all ATP testers are identical. We have found the most success with this other testers we found actually use skin, which also contains adenosine, as having a, uh, a more detection method in, or giving us varied results. Where with the Hygiena, we've gotten really consistent results. So what we're looking for, we have a count of 172 here on her hand. We're looking for two things. We're looking for one, a number below 100, or we're looking for an 85% reduction. So let's go ahead, once she's thoroughly dry, are you thoroughly dry? I'm thoroughly dry. All right, so we're gonna do it again. We're gonna go ahead and dispose of that swab, and that number again was 172. So we're gonna do the same testing again. We're gonna color in that two by two square, and we're gonna just kind of run that around here. Again, I'm just kind of measuring that. Draw my square, put it back in here. I'm gonna go ahead and activate that swab. I'm going to shake it again like a Polaroid, get it all set, and then we're going to run the test again. It's a really simple way to validate, and it only takes 15 seconds per test. So your pre-test took 15 seconds, your post-test takes 15 seconds, and so right now we're looking for that result. And so again, we are at 172, we're looking for a number below 100 or an 85% reduction and we're at 61. So we got more than an 85% reduction and we are well below 100. And so that's showing you how well the hand hygiene event and the clean tech system is washing their hands. And it's a quick, easy way to validate. 